yes sir yes sir okay, okay. and this is a new building of our college uh, which is going to be inaugurated uh, probably after the lockdown period so we will discuss something about the scope of homeopathy in cosmeto dermatology why homeopathy in cosmetology there are mainly because there are two reasons first one the demand for a non surgical cosmetic treatment has grown considerably in the recent years our treatment is non surgical method of treatment and second one because of the recurring expenditure and the side effect of the existing medicines so the side effects is more in conventional method of treatment and moreover the side uh, expenditure the recurring expenditure is also very high and this is the photo the photograph or the poster of our cosmetology opd of the government homeopathy medical college calicut just a second now what are the features of uh, homeopathy cosmetology first one it is uh, less expensive comparing to the conventional method of cosmetology treatment it is very less expensive and no recurring expenditure expenditure is also because uh, once the, uh, the pimples or the acne is cured uh, relieved or com completely there is no need of further treatment so no recurring expenditure and it is without any side effects just i would like to minimize the screen now we have the scope in the following areas and currently we are not using any external applications but after this uh, we'll have, we'll use some external application when we'll uh, record the reason also so we have scope in the following areas so where hair fall that may be on the head and face and in different types of alopecia uh, premature grayness thinning of the hair split hair then dandruff lice hirsutism cracks in the palms and soles pleasma warts pityriasis acne plus the scar mark of the acne then different types of tinnias vitiligo freckles keloid and the color consistency and the nature of the perspiration scalp psoriasis and regarding the nail there is a brittle nail deformed nail fungal nail psoriatic nails and discoloration of the nails and lastly two things for the cosmetic allergy the allergy to the reaction to the conventional cosmetic treatment we have some good remedies and some good remedies and methods to improve the complexion of the patient and these are all the things that we are go, that's we are that we are going to discuss and uh, that we are doing in the opd clinic the cosmetology opd of the government homeopathy medical college calicut and we have a very good database of this type of diseases a large database of the cosmetology cases in our opd now we'll discuss one case it's a case of alopecia totalis age of the patient is only 19 and the complaint started 7 months back as alopecia areata leading to totalis so started as alopecia areata leading to totalis hair fall started first from beard and extended to head and undergone various treatment from uh, various uh, uh, dermatologist in calicut city, city itself that they used uh, some tablets and cream and also some steroid injection but they didn't benefited so we took the case and the one thing i would like to remind you that the prescription is simply based on totality of the symptoms no special techniques simply based on the totality of the symptoms face hair falling of viscous because the complaint started first on the face that is why we took that rubric the extremity is cones painful nose sneezing morning general hair general head of the body falling out because they are fall from all over the body and had perspiration of the scalp so we have given the remedy calcarea carb 200 one dose of the remedy and uh, after some time after some weeks uh, the patient again consulted and did not much benefited so we prescribed the remedy calcarea carb 10m and within few weeks after the, the means the new hair appeared in the head and beard and within one within one or two months within one month almost the head and face covered with 
covered. So we again prescribed one dose of calcarea carb tandem. So initially started with the calcarea carb 200 followed by calcarea carb tandem. The medicine in this case uh, that is listed on the repertory station chart. So this is the first, first photograph and this is the second photograph after the calcarea carb tandem. Hair appeared on the face and this is the third photograph. Fourth photograph, fifth, and the last photograph. So within a few doses of the calcarea carb tandem, the patient got much improvement. The complete and the peculiarity of the homeopathy treatment uh, that means no recurrence. That is the peculiarity of the homeopathy cosmetology of cosmetology treatment. Whether it is air fall, whether it is acne, pimples, whatever it may be, the chance of recurrence is very less. Then another case of uh, alopecia totalis, a female 24, it's a sales girl in Calicut City. The complaint started after allopathy treatment and the complaint since last four months. We took this case and uh, took the rubric also, head hair baldness, that's a complete baldness. And the other conditions like mind fastidious, mind anger easily, mind reserved, and some other generals like the stomach appetite diminished dreams dead of the then generals fever after generals medicine allopathic abuser because she already took a lot of allopathic medication for this complaint so these are the rubric we took and the medicine that's come that's arsenicum album nexomica etc are the medicine came after the repertorization so we prescribed the arsenicum album 200 so with, we admitted this patient also in our, uh, in our IPD. So within three days after the arsenicum album, the hair started appearing. And within two weeks, that second photograph after two weeks of the arsenicum album, 200, one dose of rabbit. So the initial hairs are white hair. The hair age is only 14, but the, the initial hairs are gray, uh, white, but don't worry about that. That will turn black. So this, this is the third photograph and the fourth photograph. Within a short span of time, they had their hair came back. And there is no recurrence since the last three to four years for this patient. So that is the beauty of the homeopathy. So initially, we started with arsenicum album 200. And after three days, hair started growing. And then we prescribed arsenicum album 1M after two months. And again, after one month, we again repeated the arsenicum album 1M. Because in this case, not the near to the hair, no, sorry, near to the ear, the hair not appeared, so that we prescribe one more dose of arsenicum alpha. And this is another case of that's commonly found in our day to day practice hair fall after dengue fever or typhoid fever or pneumonia, whatever it may be. It is very easy to manage the hair fall after this type of fevers. So, this is the second photograph after the remedy. The remedy we prescribed in this case is acidum fluoricum 200. And after one month, we again prescribed one dose of the remedy. So acidum fluoricum seems to be a specific remedy in the case of the hair fall after any type of fever, whether it is dengue fever, typhoid, pneumonia, etc. That will usually will give 99 percentage of results. And the complaint started since four months for this patient, but within one month the entire hair came back. Now listen to this. Some uh, re please read this. Some specific rubrics. Instead of giving specific medicine, I would like to discuss some specific rubrics so that you can reproduce or replicate the results. So, one rubric that uh, hair fall after changing the color, after henna or after some internal applications, hair fall appears. So, changing color after the best remedy that is Kali Iodotum. And hair fall in children without any particular cause, the remedy is Natrum Muriaticum. And combing the hair pen, the hair, the hair pen, and that means hair fall uh, that happen only while combing. There's a specific group of remedies. And the fourth rubric is that's a delivery after. Usually after the third month of delivery, the hair fall starts because of some hormonal imbalance. So the main remedies are platinum sulfur followed by natrum or nitric acid, etc. And after some abdominal diseases, that's like copodium, then after acute exhausting diseases following. Thallium metallicum is the most important remedy. And see fever after, as I said earlier, fulgaric acid is one of the best remedy for the hair fall after any type of fever, whether it is acute fever or a chronic fever. Then hair fall from grief. And sometimes the patient complains about uh, Dr. Ahiyawa hair fall, a large, a large bunch of hair coming out 
each time after bathing or after combing. That's the rubric, hair, hair, hair fall, hands full in. Phosphorus and tuja. And hard, brittle hair. Moody potty pogan on the patient depari. Graphitis. And see the lactation period because of the hormonal imbalance, the hair fall, the remedies, that's natural bureaucracy. Now you can observe the remedies are entirely different depending upon the condition of the patient, about the circumstances of the patient, the medicines are entirely different. We should be very specific in selecting this type of rubric for our complaint, then we will get definite results. Then see, hair fall in menopause period, the remedy is sepia. And formerly the hair fall, hair fall during lactation, the remedy is natrium muriaticum. During delivery, the remedies are platina and sulfur. But during menopause, the main remedy is sepia. And hair fall from ovary imbalance, like the PCOD or any type of uterine diseases or the thyroid complaint, there, there are two remedies are listed, that is a phosphorus and lycopodium. Ovary imbalance from. Then pain in the head width. Because of the chronic headache, the patient has hair fall. Antibodium prudum, nitric acidum, silicia, etc. are the remedies for the headache, that as a chronic headache that associated with the hair fall. Then hair fall during pregnancy. See, the remedy is entirely different, lacases. During menopause, the remedy is sepia. Uh, but during, lac during lactation, the remedy is natrium muriaticum. But during the pregnancy, the remedy is lacases. So we should be specific in this type of prescription. Then we'll get 100% results. Then hair fall spots in, that is alopecia area, hair fall in spots. The two important remedies are the fluoric acid and phosphorus. Then typhoid fever after again, the remedy that is acidum fluoricum. Similarly, uh, the remedies are entirely different depending upon the area of the hair fall also. So listen to me very carefully, the area of the hair fall. Hair fall from the forehead, a group of remedies listed. Hair fall from the occiput, from the sides, from the temples, and from the vertex. The medicines are entirely different. So confirm with your patient from which area you have more hair fall. Then grayness, grayness of the hair, premature grayness of the hair. That is nowadays very common. But in majority of the cases, uh, that may be because of the calcium deficiency or improper assimilation of the calcium. So we have to substitute the calcium, calcarea for 6S or 3S or high potency as, as, you, as you wish. So uh, one of the major reasons, especially for the premature grayness in children is calcarea phosphorica. And in the one th Thing you I would like to remind you that it is very it is it will take a long time especially if there is an hereditary tendency of premature grayness in the family otherwise it is very easy to manage so gray becoming that is again on the right side on the grief after prematurely there is another rubric so always uh, roll out the possibility of the calcium deficiency and if required you can supplement the calcium then it is very easy to manage premature grayness then another complaint that's uh, very common in ladies, that's a head hair splitting, splitting of the hair. And that is also because of the vitamin and mineral deficiency and the most important remedy, that is syngum. Splitting usually found at the end of the hair. Then thin hair, the most important remedy that is mentioned in synthesis repertory is silesia and in complete repertory also the remedy for the thin hair, mudi tire kati thin hair, that is silesia. Then the patient has headache plus hair fall. The two of the three important remedies are the antimonium crudum, hepasulf, nitric acid, sepia, silicia, etc. These are all the medicine represented in the complete repertory and also in the synthesis repertory. And uh, now we come to the face. Hair fall from the face. Hair fall from whiskers. The main remedies are the calcarea carbomesirium. And falling of hair from the beard, from the eyebrows, moustache, Whiskers. So different areas, different different medicines are there. So this rubric you have to take from the uh, chapter face in almost all the repertories that is mentioned face, hair, falling. And similarly, gray, graying of the hair from the face on the right side on the spot in that is like a podium. Then growth of hair on the face. That is also a main concern nowadays, especially among the teenage group, teenage group ladies, teenage group ladies or girls, the growth of the hair on the face. Children in, there is a rubric and woman in. So one of the main rubric that is found uh, in the generality chapter of the synthesis and complete repertory, that is a hair distribution of woman masculine. So that's the main rubric for the hirsutism. So hair fall and also the growth of hair on the face. So what about the role of the external applications in hair fall? 
there are a lot of external applications are available in the market uh, but uh, never prescribe a high cost uh, highly costly external application of the arnica preparation because uh, even the simple uh, uh, coconut oil that is sufficient or you can prescribe some uh, common arnica hair oils that is available in the market that's uh, that is affordable to the patient also the only thing we have to massage the scalp at least for the 10 minutes before bath in dry hair not in wet hair in dry hair we have to massage the scalp at least for the 10 minutes daily daily by using any of the external applications the, the psychology or the the uh, thing behind this that uh, because of the constant massage the, the hair circulation means the blood circulation that will improve in the scalp that results in the growth of the hair so that is the psychology behind the external application so never prescribe a very high costly highly costly external application but you can give uh, an uh, arnica hair oil or whatever it may be jabar the hair oil whatever it may be that is affordable to the patient also so that is in brief about the external application so if you have any doubt you can just note it down at the end of the session we will discuss you can ask the questions either in english or malayalam and this session is primarily been for the practitioners of homeopathy you have to give something for the practitioners of homeopathy so that is in brief about the hair now we will have some other things that we are commonly encountering in our uh, cosmetology opd one such rare case that is a granuloma annulare that means raised reddish skin colored bumps or lesions that form a ring pattern and this is uh, a rare disease and that, that that has no definite treatment in allopathy system of medicine but you have some specific rubrics and medicine with 100 percentage result also so case of uh, name of the, uh, an aged patient the granuloma annular elevated eruptions all over the body and the complaint started after the surgery to the carcinoma of the larynx and the patient has a past history of carcinoma throat plus hoarseness and the habit of smoking and the biopsy of that lesion confirm, confirmed it as atrophic epidermis with the collagen basophilic and collagen fibers and in complete dynamics that's a complete repertory we have a specific group for granuloma and the remedy that is mentioned there is only one remedy that is malandrinum granuloma annular the remedy is malandrinum and we prescribed the remedy in 30th potency and 200 potency and uh, repeated but unfortunately we didn't get uh, desired result so we prescribed a one dose of carcinosinum one up carcinosinum is a best intracurrent remedy for the with the past history of cancer or with the family history of cancer if the patient the patient didn't get the desired result we can think about the carcinosinum where there is a past history of cancer or when there is a family history of cancer so we have we gave one dose of carcinosinum tandem and after that again prescribed malandrinum 200 so no re, no relapse up to this time of the disease. so this is the second photograph after the carcinosinum the one num and followed by malandrin so the lesion is completely relieved so granuloma annular now what about the pemphigus and majority of the skin complaints are of cosmetic importance also because of the external nowadays the patients are highly concerned about their external appearance so according to the modern medicine there is no cure for the pemphigus but homeopathy will offer good result or 100 percentage result without any relapses also so one case that he admitted in our college a patient is about 55 years of old and pemphigus since two months started in the lower limb now all over the body so we took the following rubric skin eruption pemphigus mind locacity mind talking then mind fastidiousness then generality is history of tuberculosis there is a history of past history of tuberculosis then sour food aversion these are the rubric we took in this case and so this is the first photograph of the patient at the time of admission the lesion all over the body since last two to three months so the uh, repertorization the medicines are the natrium muriaticum sulfur and lacasis these are all the medicines came after the repertorization and we prescribed lacasis 30 on 16 8 and discharged on 22 also we admitted the patient on 16th and discharged on 22nd and to be by by the grace of god or by the homeopathy no relapses up to this time up to this 2020 the patient has no relapses so that's the beauty of homeopathy and remember we prescribed the potency 30th potency of lacasis so this is a condition at the time of discharge so this is a first photograph at the time of admission after one week and up to this time also this is the condition of the patient 
So always remember that the remedies like lacrosis, phosphorus, natrium, muriatic, and lycopodium, etc., it is better to avoid unwanted repetition. And that's a specifically mentioned even in lacrosis also. If, one, if the remedy is indicated, one dose is enough. And you can repeat only the repair. Otherwise, may, that may result in the relapses and remissions of the condition. So this is a rubric skin eruption pemphigus. 53 remedies are there. And the main remedy that is lacrosis followed by some other remedies are mentioned. So that is the beauty of homeopathy. And always remember in skin, skin complaints, it is better to avoid unwanted reputation. That will definitely spoil the case. And this is about the cosmetic allergy. This is one of the famous actor from the Calicut city who acted in many movies. And uh, see the lesion, uh, the black discoloration that appeared uh, after the makeup, after applying the cosmetics during some movie. So this is the second photograph. See, after the one dose of our remedy, this is the condition. Now, how we can manage this type of cosmetic allergy? It is very, very comparatively very easy. Nowadays, uh, we will get uh, students uh, from college and uh, college students or school students after this uh, arts festival, after some makeup or the dance and other thing, after applying the synthetic henna, they will get some reaction. So it is very easy to manage. There are three remedies are represented, Epis, Arsenicum album and Bovista. So Bovista is the topmost remedy that is represented in synthesis repertory, Murphy, complete and many other repertories. Bovista, that is a top ranking remedy for the cosmetic allergy from the conventional cosmetics or from applying synthetic henna, whatever it may be. So it is very easy to manage. In this case also, it is better to avoid unwanted reputation. And this is a case of Akine Rosacea. The acne rosacea is very difficult to manage comparing to acne. And this complaint acne rosacea that started four years back and leaving dark spots. And the patient has past history of meningitis and anemia. So we started the remedy with the sulfur zero bar three. Complaints are almost relieved within one month. And then we again prescribe one dose of one num. In acne or the lesions of the face, etc. Always uh, try to start with the lower potency, or if you are prescribing high potency, that is not an issue, but give the, in the minimum dose. Otherwise, that may result in the aggravation. If the potency is up to you, but give the minute dose. That is the criteria in the skin complaint. So, sulfur syrupar 3 followed by sulfur 1. We took three rubrics in this case face eruption, acne rosacea, face eruption, painful, generalities, anemia. So, the medicines are sulfur, calcarea carb, lacasis, belladonna, etc. So always remember the acne is not easy to manage, but if you, if you are considering the totality, it's very easy to manage. See the second photograph after the sulfur one number. Complaint almost relieved. And now another case of acne. It's a type of pustular acne. As a name of the patient is about her roof, a young, a young individual that's painful also, that's leaving the dark discoloration and his face is oily also. And we can manage the oily face to a great extent by our remedy and also the dark discoloration. And the patient has aversion to fish and the past history of eczema and dust allergy. And we repertorized the case and we got the remedy Natramor. We initially prescribed a 201 dose of the remedy. Then after some time, uh, after many, a few months later, again, the patient has the same complaint in a milder form. So they prescribed Natramor 10 amortins. So the three rubrics, face eruption, pustules, food and drinks, fish aversion, generality, sora, Face greasy. Generality sora means he has a past history of a lot of skin complaints. That is why we took the miasmatic rubric also. And the face greasy, that is a rubric for the oily face. That is available in even the basic repertories like uh, the Kenda Boger Bonding Ascent, Therapy to Pocket Book, etc. Et so this is the first photograph followed by the second photograph. Pustular eruptions. And the scar mark of acne also. And we, nowadays, we'll get a lot of cases of the scar mark of acne because of the improper uh, treatment, cosmetology treatment by the conventional system of medicine and also by breaking this uh, acne by the youngsters. Uh, so while selecting the rubric for acne, just to try to understand some of the, co some of the co common rubric that's recurring in our day-to-day -day practice. In ladies especially, that may aggravate either before, during, or after menses. So remember the medicines are different. Face eruption, acne. Acne is the correct rubric than pimples. That's the correct terminology. Face eruption, accent, and the acne that aggravates menses before, during, or after what, what may be. That we have to confirm. Or with the irregular menses. Or with the history of irregular menses. 
then painful acne there are two remedies represented in our literature that is arnica and eugenia jambolanum then papules with indurated in patients you will get indurated papules then the remedies are somewhat different then that aggravates during the pregnancy and the puberty the acne during puberty there are two important remedies that is epoxyl and podophyllum both with both these remedies you will get good result in puberty then acne punctate that is the comedones then see the rubric for acne rosacea there are good number of remedies are represented for the acne rosacea and below that you will get the rubric scar with that means uh, acne present at the time uh, at the, along with the scar in some other areas of the face so acne with the scar the main remedies are the silesia followed by maxol calibrometum etc are the main remedies so always remember this is one of the rubric for the scar mark of the acne if the scar is accompanied by the pimples in other areas of the face also then uh, stomach complaints with the symmetrical distribution of the acne that is again the remedy that is arnica now what about the other scar mark there are different sky, type of scar marks that appear in the after the acne some scar, scar, scar marks are so depressed it will take more time and the most important remedy in that case is calibicrobicum for ordinary scars we can prescribe the, the remedy uh, that's eruptions are calibrometum is a remedy for the ordinary scar but for the depressed scar we have to think about the remedies like calibicrobicum carboanimalis caliiodatum etc etc in certain cases below that you can see the rubric elevated elevated scar mark after the acne then the remedy that is badiaga and fluoric acid then after ordinary eruptions like in the pimples then the remedy is calibrometum so depending upon the nature of the scar the remedies are different so please note these remedies the acne with the scar along with the acne scar also then the remedy is silesia <laughs> depressed <laughs> scar kali kali group of remedies then for the elevated scar the remedies are badiaga and fluoric acid fluoric acid is a very good remedy for the elevated scar after the acne then after the ordinary eruptions like the ordinary acne then the remedy is kali brometum so these are all the main rubric for the scar mark of the acne and this is the black head otherwise called as comedones so in this case never take the rubric as acne for the pimples but you have to take the rubric as comedones and with the sub rubrics alternating chin forehead lip center etc forehead the main remedy is sulfur this type of rubrics are kunsley's dot also the red dot you can see immediately after the rubric that means clinically verified rubrics we will get definite results if you are selecting this type of kunsley's dot rubrics and this is a case of vitiligo of 22 years duration and the vitiligo is all over the body redness on sun with the pain started after the marriage torture by the in-laws and the patient has past history of goiter aversion to beat left sided numbness one suicide attempt also and based on this uh, we worked out the case and prescribed the remedy natrum muriaticum tannum but unfortunately the patient discontinued and again after some time we prescribed the remedy natrum muriaticum tannum and vitiligo cases you always remember that the totality that is only serve the 100% results otherwise you have to give medicine for a long time without much benefit and that uh, uh, the result is like this this spot formerly the result of white areas are there so in this black black spots coming and that that, that will coalesce into from a normal skin that's the criteria in the case of vitiligo so always uh, consider the totality for the prescription otherwise you will never get the desired result if you are running behind the specific in the case of vitiligo then prenoderma that is another common condition in teenage age group you can see horny eruption perforations or crusty eruptions on the forehead on the knee joint on on the elbows also on the extensor aspect of the elbow that is very common nowadays that is mainly because of the vitamin a and the folic acid deficiency mainly because of vitamin a and folic acid deficiency many of the skin complaints and complaints are deficiency disorders also so we have to substitute the uh, we have to correct the deficiency also by giving our remedies for the or also the food like the green leaf vegetables or the liver also that is a, that is a very good substitute for uh, this um, folic acid nowadays multivitamin tablets and syrups are also available in homeopathy you can prescribe that remedy in order to correct the Uh, def def uh, defective assimilation or de defective intake of the this type of vitamins and minerals, and the child is obstinate and the mother that is found more on the right arm. 
eruptions reddish on the fold of the elbow, then what's on the finger? We prescribed the remedy through Jatinam. Only one dose is given in this case, and the patient has relieved with one, that one dose. So this is the first picture. This type of eruptions on the elbow, on the forehead, on, or on the knees, horny eruptions. And this is a second photograph after the Tuja Tena. So I will give you some specific rubrics to how to handle this type of defect. And because majority of the cases, that is not because of the defective intake, but because of the defective assimilation. That's the reason. So since in this is repertory, there is a rubric called skin eruption horny. That's the rubric is available in Kent repertory also. The main rubrics are ranunculus bulbosus, antimonium crudum, arnica, graphitis, etc. In complete repertory, synthesis and Murphy's repertory, one specific rubric available for this type of eruptions, extremities eruption, perforaceous elbow, olecranon, asteria rubens, and sepia. These are the two important properties for the phrenoderma. Asteria rubens has a typical feature of the, uh, this phrenoderma, this type of horny eruptions on the body. So remember, in order, along with the remedy, if there is any deficiency disorders, that also we have to correct in dermatological, dermatological complaints. So this type of eruptions appears mainly on the forehead, elbows, and knee joints. And something uh, related to the treatment of arts. Everybody is saying that the treatment of art is available only in homeopathy, but it is very difficult also. If you are not selecting the remedies properly, it is very difficult in many cases also. It's a case of arts all over the body. And uh, name of the patient is Vijayan. Since the last 10 years, large, soft, and hard wards, both type of wards are available, no pain, no itching. And the complaint started after the renal transplant because of the excessive use of the immunosuppressant medicines or the corticosteroids. So that is why we took the rubric toxicity, steroid poisoning ailments from skin, wards of the skin. And we got the remedy sepia, sulfur, arsenicum, album, etc. And we initially prescribed the sepia vadam, then we prescribed the cortisone. Cortison 30 tenum vandam that is available in the market. That is a good remedy for the to correct the side effects of steroid poisoning. Or when there is a past history of excessive steroid intake intake. So we prescribed cortison uh, 30, and again we as an intercurrent remedy, then again we prescribed a sepia tenum. But unfortunately, the entire wards not appeared. Then there is a specific rubric in the complete repertory that is the wards all over the body that is available in the complete dynamics, and the remedy is causticum. We prescribed causticum. So, parts all over the body. Now, only a few lesions are remaining. The entire parts almost disappeared from the, this patient. And this is a case of large parts on the head. Large parts on the head. So, see the breadth of the parts and its root also. So, we took the following rubric head parts, skin parts flat, because that's a flat parts. And the head pain orders from strong. The patient has headache from the strong orders. And generalities, heat flushes of menopause during. These are all the uh, rubrics we took in this case. So we got the remedies, sepia, sulfur, belladonna, ignitia, etc. are the remedies. So we should be very careful while treating the uh, what's cases. Then we'll get a definite and fast result. I will give you a methodology. So in this case, we prescribed sepia. See, the, after one dose of the sepia, after the second dose, and after the third dose. In this case, we have prescribed only one dose. So this is a photograph after some days. What's on the forehead, on the more on the right side, and the past history of coronary artery disease and hypertension. The patient is too hot after the menopause, because of the menopausal hot flashes and the headache from strong orders. We prescribed only one dose of sepia in this case. And this is a photograph after subsequent visits. So what's in other areas? What's on the face? Then what's on the upper limb? and what's on the hand and the wrist. So in what's case, always think about the prescribing on the basis of the location because the remedies are entirely different. This is type of soft wards, it's a black wards all over the body, especially on the back, back of the chest. And so some specific remedies like for the black wards, some of the important remedies are the calcarea carb. Then the wards, what's on the fingers and what's on the finger, uh, what's on the nails close to, so depending upon the location of the wards, uh, please try to understand the remedies are entirely different. So if you are prescribing for the wards, you always look about the location of the wards. So suppose the wards on the head, the most important remedy that is sepia. Sepia is the most important remedy. And wards on the scalp hard, then the remedy is calcarea floricum. Then wards on the scalp large one and many small ones, so sepia. So sepia is one of the major most important remedy for the wards on the head. 
but never prescribe in all cases of the warts on the head sepia consider other symptoms also and the warts on the neck that is nowadays very common like the soft warts or the skin tag the two important remedies are sepia and nitric acid sepia and nitric acid are the two important remedies then only tuja always remember tuja is not the main remedy for the warts in other areas then skin warts soft that is a soft warts that are appearing on the axilla on the neck or other areas that is a soft warts the most important remedy that is nitric acid followed by antimonium chloride and calcarea carb then only tuja and suppose the warts is on the face the main remedies are causticum and the dull camera these are the main four mark remedies for the warts on the face and on the chin lycopodium sepia and tuja forehead in lips the main the main the main remedy for the warts on the lip that is nitric acid and the mouth around the warts the remedies are sore in the main sepia so remember the remedies are entirely different based on the location and suppose the warts is on the extremities then warts on the nails close to we will get 100 percent as a result in majority of the cases with while we prescribe the causticum warts nails cross to and the second remedy is lycopodium and on the second third tip of the tip of the nail the uh, warts the main remedy that is causticum that will give definite result than the uh, tuja then warts of the hand a group of remedies on the flat of the hand the remedy then again change the dull camera is the main remedy on the uh, flat of the hands then large warts pointed back of the hand again the remedy changing that is a natrum or natrum carb natrum salt etc are the main remedies for the flat of the hand dull camera and sepia is a remedy but for the back of the hand natural group of remedies are mainly then warts on the knuckles and warts on the palm again ferampicricum natrum muriaticum dull camera are the remedies so always remember the remedies are entirely different depending upon the location of the warts and this is true in the case of eruptions also if you are treating the eruptions on the extremities or in some other other areas only the remedies are different depending upon the location so prescribe based on the location now a case of uh, commonly we found the case of ichthyosis that means the fish brain skin or the fish scale skin a muli ennokke parayna sadhanam that is a say, uh, that is ichthyosis scale is uh, dry scaly skin so case of 7 years duration of uh, one of our student in our college and the alcelin the nemasated chili patient the menses is delayed and we prescribe the remedy phosphorus for now so that will give the phosphorus and arsenic and madatum are the two important remedies for the ichthyosis or the fish scale skin and the rubric is skin eruption scaly ichthyosis that rubric is available in the base repertories like can can the tpb or oga skin eruption scaly ichthyosis so this is the first photograph and this is the second photograph after the phosphorus and this is a case of eczema capitis and we prescribe the remedy in this case that is a pedorinum pedorinum is the one of the best remedy for the eczema capitis there are other remedies are also available so just refer the repertory head eruption eczema children this is after the one dose of mycerium 200 so always remember in skin complaints minute dose which potency that is up to you some some have the, have the habit of prescribing the lower potency some higher potencies but always remember, remember try to prescribe the minimum dose only and the cholasma that is also another concern about the ladies see the first photograph and second photograph of the remedy this other is called as a karimangalam cholasma appearing on the face so in this case also i would like to give a, give a correct methodology correct specific rubric so that you can replicate the results so this case uh, we took the rubric skin discoloration cholasma head pain side right extremities varices of the leg skin cholasma menopausal period then genitalia tumors uterine myoma abdomen pain liver colic gallstone these are all the rubric we, uh, we took in this case and we prescribed sepia 200 followed by sepia 1 but unfortunately we didn't get the result and we changed it we took the case again and considered the gallstone colic and other thing then prescribed lycopodium like 1 so based on that uh, this uh, lycopodium like we get the best result in the cholasma in, in that particular patient and the cholasma that may appear in male also not only in female the left side on the that's a male and second that's a female so in the cholasma as per case always remember we have to take some specific medicines or rubrics suppose say cholasma there is a rubric that is there in the face then cholasma pregnancy in, in certain ladies the complaints start during pregnancy sepia codium maculatum are the two important remedies uh, that start in 
pregnancy, sepia and corneum maculatum. Then yellow spots that are appearing during the gravid during the, during the uh, pregnancy period, lycopodium like exobica, sepia, that's spots of the chiasma. And there is another rubric uh, in the skin chapter that is chiasma. And below that, there is a specific rubric for the climacteric period. Then the remedy is plumber metallicum. See above the chiasma during pregnancy, the remedy is sepia and corneum maculatum. But the chiasma that appear during, appears during the climactery period or the menopausal period, the main remedy that is plumbum metallic. So depending upon the period, the remedies may be different in chiasma also. In Murphy's repertory, there is a rubric, chiasma followed by menopausal period in the remedy that is plumbum metallicum. And the sun aggravates. Suppose the chiasma that aggravates by on the exposure to sun, then the remedy is somewhat more different. Cadmium sulf. Cadmium sulf is the most important remedy. If this type of uh, skin lesion that aggravates on exposure to sun. Then in synthesis repertory, there is a rubric face chiasma, and sub, two important sub rubrics are there. Pregnancy aggravates during. Again, as I said earlier, conium and sepia. Sun and wind aggravate exposure to the chiasma or the carimangalum that aggravates on exposure to sun. Then the remedy is cadmium sulf. This is a remedy. Then uh, we have uh, keloid. Keloid is also a curable remedy, but it is it will take more time and the uh, the potency, the uh, the reputation that we have to take care in the keloid also. It will take some more time. And this is the first picture, and this is the second picture after the remedy. In this case, we prescribe the remedy acidum fluoricum. Since the catarysis itching, that means that keloid has severe itching and skin keloid. These are the two rubric we took in this case. And formally that is six in number. Now it is only three in number. Acidum fluoricum one num and ten num is prescribed in this case. And without much benefit initially, so we prescribed one dose of carcinocinum one num in this case. Carcinocinum one num in this case. So the homeopaths should see opportunity in every difficulty, but uh, not difficulty in every opportunity. Allam prayasan prayasan and toni kajal pale kairingalu nambal ke achieve chiyan patukeela. So homeopaths should, should see opportunity in every difficulty, but not difficulty in every opportunity. So this is one of the common condition nowadays in in, in rainy season or those who are working in the farmers or working in the landries etc. This is simple excoriation of the uh, skin of the salts that is a burning also. It's a irritating perspiration also. Two important remedies in this case, malandrinum and silesia. Silesia will definitely get in more than 80% of the cases in this type of excoriation. Silesia is one of the specific remedy. And hirsutism, this is one of the area that we need further, uh, further study because it is not an easy thing to manage. Even though we corrected the PCOD, the menses problems, or so many other problems the patient might have that are already corrected by our remedy, this hair growth still persists. That is one uh, tragedy we find in our uh, OPD of this cosmetology OPD in our uh, college. But uh, fortunately, the medicines for the, the newly, newly appearing uh, hair, hair that seems to be thin, the thick hair that is replaced by thin hair, in this case, that will take a long time to get a good result. But uh, even though we can manage the hormonal imbalance, menstrual irregularities, PCOD, everything will be corrected, but this air growth that still persists. So there is a good rubric in complete repertory, skin, hairy, masculine in woman. That's the main, main uh, rubric. Medorinum is the most important remedy and followed by cortico, uh, cortisone. Again, cortisone is a good remedy in this type of cases. And in complete, complete synthesis repertory, there is a group, rubric, general hair distribution in woman, masculine. Sepia is the most important remedy mentioned in synthesis repertory, but medorinum is the most important remedy as mentioned in complete repertory. Then ringworm. Nowadays, it is not an easy task to manage this type of fungal diseases. Even allopathy doctors, they are claiming, they found it very difficult to uh, tackle this type of fungal infection. That's why they are referring case to the homeopathy doctors. But in this case, we should take some care, like the, uh, that of the hair and warts. I'll give some methodology in this case also. So the main rubric in this case, head eruption, herpetic, circinatus. That's the main rubric. That's a rubric for the ringworm infection. And the, the main important remedy is natrium muriatica, sepia, tellurium, etc. But we have to differentiate between these rubrics. And always remember it will take uh, some time to manage the chronic fungal infection that is not so not so fast like other skin complaints. 
and there is uh, some some good sub rubrics rings intersecting that means rings of uh, olympic ring length olympic ring lengths that means multiple lesions together then the remedy is telluria telluria is the best remedy with the intersecting herpetic resinators and spots in isolated then the remedy is sepia spring every again sepia so we have to differentiate between the remedies that is given in this rubric and the remedy for the that is found in the genital area uh, that's, a, that's a good rubric male eruption herpetic genitals and thighs between remember in that area the remedies are entirely different petroleum natron carb these are the two important remedies for the that is represented for the male patient male eruption uh, tinea cruris petroleum and nitric acid then only natrum or etc but in female cases the remedies are lycopodium natron carb and petroleum again petroleum is the most important remedy that is mentioned in our literature for the fungal infection or the tinea cruris that found in the inguinal region of the male and female and some somewhat difference like lycopodium and natron carb it is also two other remedies that is mentioned for the uh, fungal infections of the inguinal region so in this case I always uh, try to address the patient that that area should be kept dry in moist areas moist areas the fungal the fungus will grow again so always advise the patient to keep the area dry and application of the normal saline the saline water that is also a good thing in the, uh, at least two, for the one or two times daily the patient the patient is advised to apply the normal saline solution in the management of this type of fungal infection and this is about the stretch mark after delivery or sometimes in obese obese patient uh, with, with some medication or because of some other diseases they tend to lean the stretch mark appear and this is again in experimental experimental stage in our college the two remedies that is represented in our literature that is a sepia and cortisone for the different type of stretch mark of the skin and this is still in the experimental stage and this is a case of uh, folliculitis that is very common nowadays in our day-to-day -day practice and majority of this type of uh, dermatological complaints are of cosmetic importance also it's appearing in the lower limb and upper limb also the hair fall hair uh, in the area the affected area that's a lack of hair also so the two important rubrics in this case skin eruption hairy parts zone that's a main rubric skin eruption hairy parts zone. this appears on the hair follicle and another rubric that is found in the cancer repertory boger etc skin eruption discharging destroying the hair that means the hair in that area will disappear so natromor and rustox these are the two important remedies for the that's mentioned in our literature for the folliculitis followed by some other remedies also then hyperkeratotic eczema because of the constant scratching the skin become thick this is also very comparatively very easy to manage the discoloration also disappear the thickness also disappear depending upon the duration of the disease because of the constant scratching so we should take some specific rubrics in this case also the rubric is that's available in this chapter skin thick scratching skin become thick after so the most important remedy for the hyperkeratotic skin is rextos followed by the lacases kali bicrobicum dalcabara etc are the remedy so this is a specific rubric for the hyperkeratotic skin all these type of rubrics are available in the base repertories also so don't worry about the modern repertories if you are if that is not available with you don't worry about that so this is a specific rubric for the skin thick after scratching hyperkeratotic skin of the eczema and this is lichen planus conventionally in allopathy treatment it is very difficult to manage but we can manage to a great extent in majority of the cases not in all cases but in majority of the cases we can manage the discoloration also the raised lesions so consider the rubric skin eruption like in planus that is there in the synthesis repertory then the most important remedies are the arsenicum album calibichromicum etc in complete repertory there is a rubric skin like in planus some more remedies are represented in complete repertory for the like in planus then psoriasis so never give a false assurance to the patient in the case of psoriasis it will take some more time sometimes after one year it may occur or after some type of uh, uh, food or chemicals or exposure to chemicals that again recur. So at least for two years without the medication, no lesion, then it is considered as cured. And otherwise it is never considered consider, uh, the, the psoriasis is cured. So at least you have to wait for two years without medication. Then that seems to be cured in the, cured in the case of psoriasis. And the diet restriction that is also very important in the case of the psoriasis. 
So if you have any doubt, you can just note it down. We can discuss it in detail later if I know the answer. And this is a case of postular psoriasis. It is very difficult to manage. That is that, that's we admitted this patient in our no this patient in our college also the postular psoriasis. So that's the second photograph after the disruptions. Such so is called as tight psoriasis of so five year duration. And one specific remedy that is mentioned in our repertory that is a Maxol is a specific remedy for the guttate psoriasis. So initially we started with the Maxol 0 bar 3, 0 bar 3 in this case. Then we prescribed Maxol 200 and Maxol 1M. That is on 2016. And after two years later, around 2018, the patient has again one complaint, some few lesions after taking some non-vegetarian food, some spicy food during the Ramadan season. So it may appear later also that we have to convince the patient. So never give a false assurance in the case of psoriasis, but in majority of the cases, we can manage to a great extent than any other method of treatment. So this is guttate psoriasis. Then this is scandal asthma, raised white lesions that is usually appearing along with the lipid, high lipid profile, the cholesterol level, but that is, a, that is found in other pers in persons without any cholesterol also. Uh, this, uh, this also takes some time to manage, but two important remedies that is mentioned in this case in our literature is uh, graphitis and magnesium muriatica. These are the two remedies represented for the sandal asthma in all these case, the cases, but never prescribe these two remedies. Cons you have to consider the other symptoms of the patient also. And this is acanthosis nigricans. This uh, rubric is skin acanthosis nigricans in complete repertory and in synthesis repertory. And the main remedies are arnica, conium, nexamica, tuja. But we have to consider the associated complaints also in acanthosis and agricans. Usually we'll get obesity, then uh, menstrual irregularities, hormonal imbalances, et cetera, and some associated complaints, or the leukoria. These are some associated complaints always found with acanthosis and agricans. Some other remedies like sulfur is also a good remedy in the case of acanthosis and agricans. So take the case in detail and I'll take the rubric also, skin acanthosis and agricans. And this is a case of freckles. It is also take more time. It's not easy like pimples, but to a man, we can manage to a great extent. Like a podium phosphorus and sulfur, the main rubric, that's a face, freckles. Then dermography. So this is one of the challenging area for the modern system of medicine. They have to take the medicine throughout the life. That means we can have, a, if, if suppose if you have a scratch or a pressure applying in that, that area, that will be raised, raised bumps appearing. That's a chronic arctic area. Dermography. So in this case, majority of the cases, the IgG level is also very high. But we have some good rubrics and medicines in this case. In complete repertory, the rubric is skin redness, scratching after. We can draw a picture in this type of patients. So dermography. So sulfur, maxol, and rustos are the main remedy. In synthesis repertory, the two most important remedies mentioned are phosphorus and sabadilla. Skin discoloration, red, scratching after. And if there is a pressure attic area, suppose you are applying a pressure or holding something firmly, then the attic area, itching, redness, and swelling appear. Then in this case, the remedy is bovista and madorinum. And madorinum seems to be a good intercurrent in the case of this uh, dermography. So that is not uh, amenable to, not relieved by the indicated remedy. Madorinum seems to be a very good remedy in pressure attic area. So this is about the dermography. So I am touching the major areas only, not going in detail. Then black discoloration around the eye. That is also a major concern nowadays among the ladies. As the rubric in this case is face discoloration, bluish eye circle around. You will not get the rubric black eye circle around, but the rubric is bluish eye circle around. But all over remember, in majority of the cases, the main reason for this type of black discoloration around the eye is anemia. If you are checking their blood level, the hemoglobin level is comparatively very low, below 10. And the, the skin below the eyes, that is very transparent. So that, is, that will be re reflected in the case of anemic patient. If there is anemia, we have to correct that anemia by giving some iron preparations or the parametallicum, whatever it may be, the constitutional remedy or the iron substitute as you wish. So roll out the anemia in the case of the black discoloration around the eye. Then discoloration. This may appear because of the stress and strain exposure to sun or, or anxiety or improper food. We can improve our complexion also to a great extent. This type of the, this type of discoloration is comparatively easy to manage. So how we can manage in this type of cases? There are some good rubrics that are in almost all the repertories related to the complexion. So we can take the uh, concerned rubric from your repertory, complexion, 
then there is a rubric uh, skin uh, discoloration after the eruption and before that it is very comparatively we can improve the composition that is not not a difficult task if you are giving the constitutional remedy but not uh, merely prescribe this uh, very very surgical uh, routinely but give some constitutional remedy by taking the case we will definitely improve the complexion of the patient so consider this rubric and now don't not this rubric these are very useful in our day to day practice discoloration after some type of eruptions so there is a good rubric in synthesis repertory that we found, found very effective skin discoloration spots eruption after and after some type of eruptions or eczema or whatever it may be some type of eruptions there is a dark discoloration appearing in spots then the remedy ferum lacasis rustos and tuja are the remedies differentiate between this rubric this remedy and find out the most suitable remedy for your patient then remember the face discoloration bluish spots following eruptions after the pimples or acne the patient has any type of black or bluish discoloration the most important remedy in that case is lacasis followed by ferumetallicum and tuja are some other remedies discoloration of the face after the acne or after any type of eruptions or pimples whatever it may be then in complete repertory there is another rubric skin bluish spots eruption after the same remedy is represented tuja ferum lacasis limonium tartaricum are the remedies represented in uh, complete repertory is also so discoloration after eruption or discoloration in spot bluish or black spot following eruption so even though the acne is relieved the ladies have great concern about the discoloration so we can manage it we can manage this this condition completely then white discoloration after in the last slide we described, described about the black discoloration suppose white discoloration appearing after eruption or after scratching then the remedy the main remedies arsenicum album and calicarb these are the two important remedies that mentioned in our literature white spots or uh, white, uh, white areas appearing after the eruptions then there is a good rubric for the dark complexion the patient that is a skin discoloration blackish that is a rubric for the black or dark complexion the person we have to consider along with the other complaints other symptoms other rubrics so that's a good rubric then it's a case of pityriasis pityriasis nammal chonanga ennu parayna oru condition aanu it is also takes some more time to manage it's because that is on the epidermis but we have some specific rubric in this so this is one case of uh, pityriasis we took the rubric skin pityriasis of the skin that's a direct rubric available in synthesis and morphis repertory and we took the other complaints like the itching perspiration during dryness at night mouth heat flushes of menopause during then skin itching perspiration aggravation it's a case of female pityriasis of 2 years duration and intense itching that aggravates on perspiration bathing or wetting and dryness of the mouth at night menopausal hot flushes based on this we got the remedy like a potassium sepia sulfur etc with prescribed sulfur 30 and not much improvement we changed it into sepia 1m and the complaints recurred again after one or two years one, one year then again in that case we prescribe one more dose of sepia 10m so this is the condition so this is the condition before and after of our and for this type of complaints the curd application application of the curd this uh, contain the organism that is a malassezia purpur the curd contain the uh, lactic acid if you are applying the uh, curd on this uh, pityriasis area and that will kill the malassezia purpur the lactic acid that will kill the malassezia purpur so we have to advise the application of curd in the case of pityriasis and this is fungal also fungal fungal nail that is also common especially among the farmers and labs and also for the migrant workers so in this case also we have to select this specific remedy and the rubric otherwise it is very difficult to manage fungus appearing below the skin below the nail and in morphis repertory the rubric is feet fungus toes main remedies are antimonium crudum graphite silesia and tuja are the main remedies for the uh, fungus of fungal infection of the toes in complete repertory extremities fungus growth of the nails madurinum is also represented in addition to silesia madurinum seems to be a good intracarotid in the case of uh, fungal nails and in synthesis repertory another rubric extremities nail complaints of fungus so silesia silesia antimonium crudum graphite tuja etc are the main remedies for the fungal infection try to prescribe one remedy based on the other complaints of the patient then molluscum candidiosum so in former in earlier repertories other than this boric repertory this rubric is not available and the main remedy represented in our literature that is the synthesis repertory is mercsol in complete repertory also skin eruption molluscum contagiosum 
the most important represent medicine represented is perxol followed by some other remedy so you can select the one remedy out of this rubric then detergent allergy this is also comparatively very easy to manage based on uh, the nature of the lesion there are two type of detergent allergy one is eruption is appearing and in second case uh, redness is appearing while using some detergent so the rubric skin eruption soap application of the main remedy is natrum carb and heroin that means eruption after the uh, detergent application of detergent then the remedy is natrum carb but redness appearing redness of the palms appearing after the detergent then the remedy is sulfur these are the two remedy represented both in the synthesis repertory and pathetic repertory that will give good results so depending upon the lesion two type two type of lesion either may be redness or eruption eruption the remedy is natrum carb and for the redness after using the detergent then the remedy is sulfur so this is a condition of intertrigo and in this type in this cases also i advise the patient to keep the area dry otherwise it is very difficult to manage so the most important remedy in this case that is silesia and regarding the nails that we have different rubrics like brittle nails nails curved nails hang nails thick nails spotted nails ingrowing toenails crippled nails corrugated nails that means transverse ridges on the nail and the split nail thin nails these are all the rubrics available in base repertories like kent boger etc so you can select the most appropriate rubric for your patient then this is a case of a dapper rash that is nowadays very common the dapper rash so the most important remedy for the dapper rash that is a medorinum that is a remedy that is represented for the dapper rash in our literature that is medorinum but in this case always give minute dose of the remedy only in murphy's repertory one some other remedies are also represented like sulfuric acid sulfuric acid and sulfur is also represented for the dapper rash but in majority of the cases we will get good results in medorinum as a case of atopic dermatitis in this case also always start with minute dose like 0 bar 3 or 0 bar 6 like that give single even though you are prescribing 0 bar they give only one pill or if you are prescribing hypotensity dissolve with your pill in uh, in half ounce water in one ounce water and give one dose of one dose of the that water only never give drop doses in case of this type of atopic dermatitis that may result in the aggravation then another concern dacrocystitis of one year duration that during dacrocystitis means infection of the lacrimal sacs and this uh, this patient has complained since last one year no pain but with the constant erection erectation but discharge also we prescribed this remedy only one dose of remedy that is pulsatilla and we took the rubric in this case general hypertension stomach distension eating after and lastly the rubric eye inflammation lacrimal sac that is a rubric for the dacrocystitis eye inflammation lacrimal sac and the mouth indented tongue and usually we are not uh, explaining the one case uh, with one or two hours but giving in the natural presentation only that is our method of presentation so we are giving the main rubric uh, main symptoms as rubric so this is a first slide continuous discharge since last one year and this is a second slide after the pulsatilla tenum that's prescription simply based on totality no other technique now we can manage our the complaints related to the teeth so the discoloration of the teeth that is also a great concern for the patient so that is rubric is available in base repertories teeth discoloration black in streaks in streaks means there is a black lines only not the entire teeth is not black but there are lines of the black then the remedy is tapisacria always remember then black on spots creosotum lycopodium are the two remedies then dark uh, greenish yellow yellow eating after after eating the color of the teeth turns yellow then the remedy is metorinum so depending upon the nature of the uh, i mean the character of the color you can select the appropriate rubric in this case so that's about the discoloration then the plaque formation even though after repeated cleaning with the help of the dentist uh, the sores the plaque appearing the rubric for plaque in repertory that is a sores s o r d e s usually the black sores black plaque is appearing and the most important remedy for the black plaque uh, that is a china conium and fluoric acid advise the patient to clean the teeth with the help of a, a dentist then ask, ask the patient to come because they are already established a plaque is very difficult to remove by the medicine that we have to remove mechanically then we have to give the remedy in order to prevent the recurrence of the plaque formation so remember the rubric for the plaque that is sores fluoric acid 
And this is a case of the chronic spongiotic dermatitis that we admitted in our patient along with, uh, we have a good team of postgraduate students for scholars in our college. So they are, they, are, they are working very hard to cure this type of diseases. And this is a chronic spongiotic dermatitis with uh, cosmetologic importance also. And this is the second picture, third picture, fourth picture, fifth picture, almost relieved. So this is a, it's a very tough case. And we, took, we, considered, we, we thought that it is a case of uh, psoriasis. Uh, and prescribed the remedy based on the psoriasis, but, and, but that didn't work. And we uh, took a histopathology, then that is not the psoriasis, but it's a spongiform dermatitis. And so that is the reason we took uh, some other rubrics like skin eruption discharging, extremities cracked skin hands, chill, chilliness, skin inflammation, etc. So it's a chronic dermatitis that is uh, from the pathology department of medical college when we again took a biopsy skin biopsy shows features of severe spongiotic dermatitis so initially based on the nature of the lesion we prescribed psoriasis but in some skin cases the skin the external appearance will not give the diagnosis but we have to give the, we have to take the pathology also especially in the case of psoriasis or the uh, lichen planus etc etc so we prescribed this case uh, natromore followed by the sorinum so, uh, my advice regarding the dose and potency, even though you are prescribed with the low potency or high potency or zero bar three, et cetera, always give minute dose only because otherwise that may result in severe aggravation. If you are giving the remedy, they drop dosages, even though that is an indicated remedy. And if the pimple or acne or any lesion that aggravates, that's a devastating thing for a patient. So preferably one medicated pill. If you suspect in some aggravation, Dissolve that one medicated pill in, pill in half glass of water and take one spoon only and discard the remaining water. And uh, advise the patient to discard the water also. Otherwise, they will take the water on the next day also. So if you suspect uh, aggravation, dissolve the pill, medicated pill in one glass of water. And avoid unnecessary repetition in cosmeto dermatological complaints. And always advise vitamin C rich food. Vitamin C rich food means uh, uh, these uh, sour foods like the uh, uh, like the citrus, anar, uh, then orange, etc. This type of food, uh, food foods are very good for the for a good complexion and also for different type of skin complaints. Especially if you want to improve the complexion or the discoloration, then green leafy vegetables and the good, good sleep that is also an unavoidable thing for a uh, good skin or good, good external appearance. And you can select uh, this cosmetology as a career in homeopathy because that's a great, uh, that's a fast growing area in homeopathy. Nowadays, because the individuals are very much concerned about their appearance, even though we are curing their cancer, but still the patient complains about there is a, sir, there is a lesion, a black mole or black lesion appearing on the face. Please try to cure me that. Even though these this, uh, this couples have no child uh, for six to seven years, if they are coming for the treatment, they are very much concerned about one acne or one pimple or one discoloration on the face. So if you would like to have a career in cosmetology, try to start a cosmetology, homeopathy cosmetology clinic. Because nowadays, even the allopathy doctors, beautician, hairdressers, et cetera, they are referring cases to us. Even the, even the doctors from some other systems of medicine, they are referring cases to our OPD because of the success in the treatment. So nothing, uh, nothing uh, no more techniques, only prescription based on the specific rubrics, prescription based on the totality. Not much, no more, no more technique. So medicine is our passion and humanity is our uh, religion. And always remember for getting the best result in homeopathy, our case taking should be perfect. If you neglect making a careful case taking, remember, if you neglect making a careful case taking, the patient will be the first sufferer because the patient will never get the desired result. But in the end, you yourself will suffer from it. That means you will lose a lot of patients. And ultimately, the people may blame homeopathy also. So if you have not time to take the case, just give SL only and ask the patient, ask the patient to come the next time. Never prescribe a partially similar remedy if you have not time to prescribe. And I always remember about the aforesaid number five. And that is very true in the case of the chronic diseases like the chronic dermatological condition, useful to the physician in assisting him to cure the particular, the most probable exciting cause of the acute disease. In acute disease, the, exci the exciting cause is more important. For example, the hair fall after fever. The remedy is fluoric acid. So exciting cause. And most significant point in the whole history of the chronic disease enabled him to discover the fundamental cause, that is a miasmatic cause. 
So in this investigation, the ascertainable physical constitution of the patient, his intellectual character, his occupation, mode of living, habit, his social and domestic relation, his age, his sexual functions, etc., are to be considered. So take the case in detail and prescribe on the basis of the totality and prescribe by selecting the specific rubric rather than by selecting the uh, rather than by selecting the specific medicine. And I think you are familiar with our website, homeybook.com. And if you have any articles or cases, just uh, mail to us. And if you have any questions, you can ask. That's in brief about the uh, cosmetodermatological cases that we are handling in our OPD of the Government Homeopathy Medical College, Calicut. I have given a brief outline, hmm? a methodology, some specific rubrics so that you can replicate.